Yeah, he's he's already he's feeling himself. He's 92. Kuroki gets the top. Maybe have the wisp transfer up top, but uh, it, it's just not. It's usually not that effective. Oh well, no! Play. Avalanche combo. They couldn't get the kill. Arteezy's coming back in. Nine posh doesn't have Icarus dive. He's gonna get body blocked till died. Arteezy right click and the quill sprays will kill. Actually, RZ gonna get cast up. He doesn't have tether. Arteezy's gonna walk in quill spray once and then Kuroki gets the kill with a right click. Who just casually walks from the top lane. Gets Avalanche takes literally no damage. The toss is gonna go through. It doesn't really do anything. Arteezy pox up some illusions. Now the cast's gonna come through, and that's gonna turn to a tether target. No one. A couple of quills from death. In fact, one. Dead. It's gonna be a double. Kick. They have brain sap. He does get fogged. And Tron's gonna come in. Gets slithering on a two. Puppy does have nightmares. Gonna brain sap first. Can nightmare. There's gonna be the ultimate coming up from the troll warlord. Puppy might fall. Toss is gonna go. Shadow wave. Arteezy in trouble, but they get the grave off coming through. That'll be on to Tron. They're gonna pop up the Maldic, the cast, get him down to pretty much every hero. Kuroki a bit too far in, it looks like he might die. We're trying to get a trade Arteezy. here. Still alive, the Maldic, Arzik might fall, does bottle up Arteezy. They blink, Lasso's gonna go on to no one, they have Tether, can they bring him down, overcharge. Now the cast battle trance is going as well. Death Ward, they'll toss him up with cancel, but no one, he actually gets the return. They're gonna go for Puppy instead. He's gonna get blinked down, Slytherin Crusher is gonna go. Now the Amplify damage, the Shadow Wave, he's gonna get his Brain Sap off. They're gonna leave Sima behind and just say, oh, you're on your own, buddy. Uh, that was chase after, but... An overextension by uh, the Dazzle. They should have known that Wisp and Tiny were going to get out, so he should have had a oh, TP nine on Posh. him. Nine Posh might get Blink Lassodon. There it is, Zai walks forward. I'm not sure why I didn't back up. That was questionable. He does have his Supernova, but... They're going to Supernova in the pit. Arteezy's going to try to break it down, and actually the Supernova almost gets the kill on Dice 4, but he's got to be careful. This Roche now too dangerous to go in. Cassie's going to go through. Now the Death Ward onto the cliff. They could maybe try to get the Slytherin Crush off, but the Cast, the MVP Cast. Tron is going to get uh, use the Grave on him, and that's actually going to save his life. He's almost dead. He's going to fall to Roche. No, Arteezy gets the double with the Slayer. He's got mana to Grave if necessary. He'll have to use it. Won't be able to. Now the Whirling X is going. Tron just blinking out in time. They get the uh, Tiny as well. He gets the Aegis, but now in trouble. Toss under three, but not going to do enough. There's the Battle Treads. Craggy exterior going to work. No one is going to fall again. There's a Supernova, though. It's going to hit a little bit of damage over time, and Puppy will. Really, the Blink Tank of Tron, well, he is going to get Lasso. That is the longest range Lasso you'll see. The Death Ward's going to go. He's going to get grabbed up. He might survive the cast. The Maldex, he should fall. He's going to get popped up by that Maldex more than likely. Um, he'll fall the close spray. Slither Crush misses Arteezy, kind of jukes it. Nine Posh throwing up the Flame Spirits. They're actually chasing after Arteezy. He might be in trouble. He's very tanky. Vanguard SMY now flying out as well. He might just try to 1v5 this entire team. 1v4. Nine Posh has to Icarus dive away. Our Zeke does have a tether. He might have to use it. He's not going to get it off. Buyback coming in from the slaughter. It's time to leave, says Secret. Time to get the hell out of here. RTZ is the one in front. Kuroki not too far behind, but he's going to get Slytherin Crush. Is that going to walk back in? But I think they're going to leave him alone this time around. Meanwhile, RC in the backside. Battle Trance is going to go. Will they fight this? RTZ's kind of low, honestly. Slytherin Crush does hit RTZ. Not able to juke it. Toss up. RTZ's low. He's going to fall. Big fight. Big turnaround for Vega. Big buyback as well for the Slaughter. Big everything. Yeah, the Wisp, uh, the Wisp even fought back. And they're still pursuing Puppy, taking lots of damage. They can't attack it or they. Their attacks won't hit anymore. There's a stun from Tiny. Yeah, oh, Arteezy. Icarus dives going to through the relocate. Arteezy in trouble. He's going to fall here. It looks like the cliff coming out. They are going to get low to a couple of cruel sprays, but they're going to keep chasing after Zion Kroki. It looks like maybe not. Cask is going to go through. The Supernova comes in as Puppy going for the huge. Yes, he just gets it off. Now the toss avalanche and Kuroki getting a bit. He's going to get caught out. The toss. The Supernova is going to come in as well. S4 jumps in, but he is alone. He doesn't have a BKB. He has a blink dagger, but they do get the kill onto the Phoenix. Death Ward flying out as well. Tron taking a lot of the damage. Lasso, all of a sudden, they are in trouble. Noah tried to TP out. The Nightmare. Nine Pash buys back, but he can't help. Toss is gonna go doing some work. Cleves taking some heroes down, but S4 is not gonna fall. No one gonna go down. The Aegis, he'll probably die twice. And suddenly that blink, that blink, and the usage of the whirling axes from S4 does so much work. Arteezy stacking up the cross sprays. Icarus dive going through. Arteezy's gonna get tossed. Avalanche, she's getting low. Cleave damage, but the Maledict and the Witch Doctor getting the kill. And now Nine Posh might even have a die back here. The whirling axes, he can't get to the high ground. 
He was really good back then. I'm surprised he never played it when he first came into the Dota scene. But now RZ got to get caught out the lasso. The tether is good by. S4 blinks up to the high ground. He's got to try to zone out Sima the Slayer. Pops the BKB. Sima has to grave himself. He has to pro prioritize surviving. No one's going to try to TP out. Death Ward goes under Illusion, but does get the kill because of the Aghanim. Nightmare up as well. Arteezy running at him with the Viscous Nails Goo. They're stacking up the stacks. Goo as well as Sticky A Pomp. Sunray trying to keep him alive, but he falls. So he's going to try to go for the Rex. Now going for the Super Nova instead. Zai's going to break it down. Arteezy is so low. Meanwhile, the buyback from Nine Posh. The Sunray secures the kill. Time he's done that cheeky play. Force? Lasso? Can he get the Aegis? He snatches it! Zai gets the Lasso and the Aegis! He'll lose it, but that is so worth it. And Night Bosch is very low as well. He doesn't have Supernova. The Blink out immediately. This third crush not well timed. Zai on the run. Gonna BKB. Go back, Maybe go there's back, a Bash. Tron not gonna get the. Yes, he does! He gets the Bash! Gonna relocate top play Tron. Getting feeds gripped up. He'll still alive. Puppy's gonna have to back away. He's gonna fall S4. Up with extra damage. Here we go. Relocate aggressively. Arteez is going to get jumped on, taking a lot of damage. Already used the Satanic, he's on the cliff! Oh, he's on the cliff! He's going to fall, it looks like he should have buyback, I believe. He's not going for it though, instead he's going to blink, looking for the eye, that's the target they want to go for, the flame break. He actually is able to get tethered to the low ground, no, he still has the tether. It's going to cast through, Death Ward going in, Arzeek, the grave's about to go down. Arzeek is about to fall to the right, click of Arteez, can't get the kill yet, Quill Spray's off. Arteezy gets the Amplify off, now the Blink Forward, no one gets the Avalanche as well. Yule Scepter up onto the Tiny, Arteezy is still on the run, gets bashed up in the back of the head, BKB now goes for no one, as well as for Tron, Arteezy in trouble, he will have buyback. <laughs> Long range, they're gonna get the kill from downtown. Arteezy, the toss is gonna go, they no bashes from Tron, they don't have a, a Craggy proc obviously. That's magical, it's not gonna work out anyways. Puppy's gonna blink through. Nightmare's gonna go Avalanche Toss. Now the BKB for no one. He does have Aegis to work with. Toss back. Puppy in trouble. Manta style. Puppy next. Today's alive. There's the last one going through. But he has an Aegis. He has another left to work with. And they can the try throws. to relocate him out. Actually, it's on cooldown. I relocated to get in here. And no one's gonna fall again, it looks like. Arteezy's gonna right click him. Puppy not gonna Fiend's Grip. They don't need to. Cracky Prox at S4. He doesn't give it to them. They're gonna lasso up onto Seam of the Slayer. That's a big target. Fiend's Grip goes. The refresher coming out from Die has yet to use his second lasso. They don't blow up anybody yet. They relocate out one of the heroes. Now no one getting targeted down. He will not have buyback if he goes down. The grave is up. Is this going to be the fight? Tron jumps in. Arteezy has his BKB. He held on to it for the longest time. No one's going to fall. Now the Death Ward comes out. Tron getting slowed up. Has to eat the cheese, but will still fall in the end. He will have buyback. He's going to have to use it. Arzeek not going to be so lucky. He'll fall down. Nine Posh stays alive as well. Only The tiny in the egg. Can you not do when he's BKB? That must be why. Mm -hmm. Either way, yeah, it was a little bit slow. Yeah, Nine Star Posh is going to get caught out, so it doesn't matter either way. Agnes barely 1-0 here in this first game, and what a game it was, man. This is why I said BKB on time.